Hey, Ben! G'day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We have had a little bit of a spike in growth the last couple of weeks, so if you're brand new, welcome along. If you've been here for a while, welcome back. Um, for those new guys, my name's Michael. I live here in Fiji, and I guess I make ocean adventure type videos, a lot of fishing, spear fishing, some stuff with my family. Um, and I'm out at the moment just having a little bit of a fish, trying to pick up some Spanish Max for dinner. But I'm going to share with you guys a video that we filmed a couple of weeks back with my friend Sam from the Wet Mammal Channel and my friend John from the Waka Family Channel. And we went for a spear dive up on the, a spear fish, sorry, up on the, the other side of the island with a friend of ours named Leone uh, from Lukumbati Resort. And it was a crazy, crazy, crazy day. You, you guys that are regulars know that I'm all about just sort of taking, you know, what you need um, and not, you know, going crazy loading up on fish. Uh, but on this occasion, we actually had two events that had popped up where people had asked us um, if we could get some fish for them. One was a wedding um, and one was a funeral. Um, so we sort of, I guess we took advantage of that a little bit uh, and we took a lot more fish than we usually would. So one of the frustrations on this trip actually was the fact that between John, Sam and myself, we were down to one good GoPro basically. We had one GoPro 9 functioning between all of us. So I ended up dusting off an old dinosaur GoPro 3. Um, so I apologize up front. Some of the footage is a bit shaky, uh, a bit grainy. Um, and that's because I had the GoPro 3 on my head. Um, John didn't have a camera going at all, a waterproof camera anyway, or an action camera. Um, and I gave the one GoPro 9 that I had working to Sam because let's face it, he's a far better diver far better spear fisherman you're going to get a lot better content uh, from him than you went from, than you than you went from me my mum would hate that if she's listening <laughs> you're going to get a lot better content from him than you are from me good old gopros 60 percent of the time they work every time so it was an awesome day but it did start out a little bit crazy my heart rate was up my palms were sweaty and i felt sick in the stomach because on our way there, it's such a beautiful drive on that side of the island. Um, reminds me of like Jurassic Park. Uh, and so Sam had his drone up while we were driving and was like filming some of the ocean, the coastline, some of the mountains, getting some amazing footage. And then we got into some trouble. We lost signal with the drone. Uh, it nearly ditched into the ocean. The battery was running way down. Sam actually started to fly that to a little island uh, that was the closest bit of land to him. Uh, and was gonna ditch it in the mangroves and, and just ended up getting put on the mangroves and, and putting it down on the grass. So you guys are gonna join us on that day just as we picked up that drone uh, from the island and then just as we, uh, we headed out for one of the best days spear fishing that I've, I've had. So I hope you enjoy it guys. Really do appreciate all the engagement that you guys have been giving us. It does help the channel a hell of a lot. So if you're enjoying it, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment. And obviously if you want to see more of what we're doing, subscribe. We've got so much more awesome stuff coming down the pipelines. Enjoy. <laughs> So on this day, we decided to have a little bit of a friendly competition and represent our country to see who could catch the most fish. And Sam got off to an absolutely awesome start here with this amazing Maori sea perch. These fish are such a challenging fish to hunt down. Um, you know, I've, I've tried before and I've spent like half an hour just on the one fish and they always just keep their distance, just stay out of range. Um, very challenging fish. I 
Murray sea perch. Beautiful fish. <laughs> Not my best shot though. Fish on the boat. As I said at the start, we were down on GoPros, so John doesn't actually have a camera on him here. Um, so I just sort of did my best at filming him from a distance with the GoPro 3. Um, but this is him hunting down a midnight snapper. Midnight snapper. Yeah, that is. <sighs> awesome. Yeah, good fish. This dive from Sam was absolutely amazing. Him and I were actually swimming back to the boat. We decided to, to bail on this spot because the shark activity was you know, getting pretty intense. Um, and as we're swimming back, like I don't know what that is, 15 meters, 18 meters, mm. he spots something that I didn't even see. And so I follow him part the way down and there's these two beautiful coral trout there. So he has his pick of two fish, chooses the passion fruit trout, and that's another first species for Sam. See on this dive, you know, what really separates someone like Sam, who's an absolute professional, and someone like me, who's an, an amateur. You know, he dives down here. When I dive down, and uh, I'm like, I'm like the desperate single guy in the nightclub, just chasing, chasing everything around. He dives down here, passes up on many fish that most people may have had a shot at, and you'll see the bluefin trevally come up in the distance here. And so this is where I would turn and go straight for them, whereas he has a slight look away like his body language is sort of turning away which brings them back around for an awesome shot. This spot really was stunning. Stunning like visually to dive and stunning at just the amount of fish it held. Well, you can see the bait fish here, you know, moving quite fast, a bit skittish, sort of tight together. There had to be predators feeding on these fish. And so Sam makes his way down here, holds the spot and just has a bit of a look around waiting for whatever's making those fish panic to come by. And you'll see there a, a Mackie comes up, he ignores that sees the nice two GTs here and that is another first species for Sam. <laughs> So on his way back up, you know, it was starting to get a little bit sharky by then, so I'd sort of followed part of the way down. On his way back up, the GT gets stuck under a ledge there, um, and the sharks start making their way up towards it. So I dive further down, um, get the end of my gun there just to grab the uh, cord from, from getting stuck on the coral, um, and then bring his fish back up. <laughs> Awesome work, man. So 
John found this awesome little cave hole type set up in the reef and he swam down for a look and one of his favorite fish to eat was calling that place home and he got himself a little saber tooth there. Um, I've never tried them but he says they taste phenomenal and uh, he was so fired up about getting that fish. So I guess the little kid in me couldn't help myself and I just had to go down and explore like this little hole. It was cool just to swim down there. The current was really ripping this day. We were, this was on the outer edge of the reef and the, the reef break was maybe 150 meters from us. Um, so the water was really pumping through that hole and you can see how like years of that water pushing like that, that hydraulic action has sort of cut this hole. Um, it's so cool, I just love doing that sort of stuff and just hanging in those little cubby holes and checking it out. This is back with me on a dive where I was hunting down this coral trout and I was towards the end of my breath here um, and I thought, stuff it, I'll, uh, I'll take the shot. And then just as I take the shot, the sound of the gun going off attracts a massive fish. Now, I think it might've just been a red bass uh, going back on the, the video there, um, but incredibly frustrating. So this is me here again, chasing down a one spot snapper. Um, I was tracking this guy along from behind, hoping that he would give a turn and give me a, a shot sideways. He goes behind this little rock, comes out the other side, and I was waiting for him. So when you're spearfishing, you're obviously down there and your main objective is hunting and catching fish. Um, but I can never get enough of just looking at the beauty of the place. You know, checking out the fish, the corals, the soft corals. Um, it really is another world. It really just blows my mind every time. Like I never, ever, ever get sick of it. But just check out this dive. I'll just let you swim along with Sam here on this dive and see the soft corals, the, the fan corals, the little white ones that are hanging on the overhangs and you know the abundance of bait and, and reef fish. It's just stunning. So thanks again to my GoPro challenges. I actually missed shooting this fish, um, but this was my fish of the day. Beautiful Spanish mackerel. Um, I actually dove down to get a coral trout, the biggest coral trout I've ever seen. Um, I, I saw him from the surface, and by the time I got down there, I'd lost him. Um, and I was a bit frustrated, hung down there for a bit, but then I turned around and as usual in typical Spanish Mac fashion, this guy was sort of approaching me from behind um, to see what I was all about and he gave me a, a fairly simple shot to uh, secure him. Nice fish! Yay! Woo! Oh, it's almost full! Literally on my 
Well, don't do it for a trout like that. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, because you're going to... Yeah? And then I turned around and there's a Mackie right there. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! What a day, sneak preview. Oh, yeah. oh it's full. Cheers! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cheers, Cheers. Well, boys. Yeah. Thank you, Leone. Thank you, Leone. Well, it's a pretty perfect ending to a pretty perfect day. Mm. We forgot to explain, we actually got the competition slightly wrong. We said oh. it was uh, the UK, Canada, and Australia and Fiji versus each other, but that wasn't quite right. What it was supposed to be right. was UK, Canada, Australia versus Fiji. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, so man. in that case, in that case, oh, Fiji man. won. <laughs> <laughs> On fire today, Leone. On fire today. <laughs> I did. I did learn a lot from this guy, though. He can dive. Holy smokes! He can dive. Jeez. We did. We did good. We all did good. We all got fish. Yep, fish in yep. the esky. Got mackerel, trevally, whole heap of reefies, and yeah, I got my first GT. Get in! Yes. Nice. <laughs> so sick. Nice. Um, yeah, perfect day. Rowdy start to the day though. Yeah, stressful Crazy. start to the day, but after that, as soon as you hit the water, calm down. Everything just. I forgot about flowed. it. Until we mentioned it at the end of the day. Yeah, the true. whole drone scenario Whew. fiasco. Stressful. All good though. Yeah. All good. And he only dropped us on a single bommy that was just loaded with fish. So many fish. Yeah. Like bait fish everywhere, different sorts of uh, fusies and stuff there. And then trevally, red bass, coral trout, uh, cod, mackerel. Uh, bluefin, everything was on there. Everything was on there just hitting hitting the bait. Um, and I'm thinking, well, we're not gonna move the rest of the day, but then the sharks did get a little bit agitated. So um, yeah, so we moved on and still got fish. So bloody great day. Amazing. Cool. What do you think? 